If you want to use the funds in your Ledger Wallet on any decentralized application on the Cardano network, one of the ways you can do so is by connecting your Ledger Wallet to NAMI. There are two methods of doing so, and one of them increases the chances of your seed phase being compromised. In this video, I'll be showing both the correct and wrong methods of connecting Ledger to NAMI. Before connecting Ledger to NAMI, do ensure that you have already installed the Cardano app on Ledger Live. If you have already created and installed a wallet on NAMI, you can click on this menu here and select Connect Hardware Wallet. You'll be given the option of either connecting Trezor or Ledger. You can connect your Ledger Wallet to your computer and select the Cardano app. After clicking on Continue, your Ledger Leno should appear as one of the options here. It is possible for you to connect multiple accounts from Ledger to NAMI. This is because your Ledger Wallet has a seed phrase which contains multiple Cardano private keys. Each of the accounts that you see here corresponds to one private key in your seed phrase and they are always in sequence. You are able to select a few of them to import to NAMI. After you have clicked on Continue, you need to confirm that you are exporting these private keys to NAMI. Ledger shares your private keys with NAMI in a very secure way so that they are not exposed to the internet. After confirming the transaction on Ledger, you should now have added the accounts on NAMI. You can click on the menu button here and you will be able to see both of your Ledger accounts. To verify that your wallets have been successfully imported, you can click on the receive button and this will show you the Cardano address on NAMI. You can compare this with the address that you see on Ledger Live and it should be the same. If you have previously sent some ADA to your Ledger wallet, you may notice that the address you see on NAMI is actually different from the one you see on Ledger Live. Cardano is similar to Big Coin, where it's a UTXO based blockchain. You can find out more about how these addresses will change in my video here. If you have installed NAMI without creating any wallets, it does not give you the option to connect a hardware wallet. You may think that the correct way is by going to import and then writing down your seed phrase on NAMI. However, this compromises your seed phrase as it is now exposed to the internet. Any seed phrase that is generated on Ledger is done offline and is extremely secure. Once you enter this seed phrase on a device that is connected to the internet, hackers may be able to note it down by using malware like key loggers. This is similar when you're connecting Ledger to Metamask but you should not be entering your seed phrase using the import function. The correct way is to create a brand new wallet on NAMI. You'll be given a brand new seed phrase that is separate from Ledger. This is just a placeholder wallet, so you do not need to back it up. Once you have created this brand new wallet, you will now be able to access the Connect Hardware Wallet function. Generating your seed phrase on Ledger is the most secure way as this is done offline. However, once this seed phrase is exposed to the internet, it is no longer secure. This is what happened to NFT God when he connected his Ledger to Metamask using the wrong method. This resulted in him losing all of his funds and you can find out what exactly happened in my video here.